isang importanteng makita ng mommy if the baby is unwell. Isa pong sintomas yun. Huwag na po nating hintayin tumulo ang dugo sa ilong, tumulo ang dugo sa teng, at lumaki ang tiyan ng bata. Bago po dalin sa doktor. Good day mga moms! Doc A again! This time we are talking about dengue fever. Okay, before I start, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below para maka makita nyo yung mga iba pa naming videos that probably can help everyone and even your friends. Share with friends, families. Okay, so let's start! Kailan ba masasabing may dengue ang anak ko? Ang dengue kasi para yung trangkaso sa unang tatlong araw. So ano yung karaniwang symptoms ng trangkaso? May lagnat, masakit ang ulo, walang panglasa, ang bata makita mo matamlay, minsan nagsusuka, minsan ayaw kumain, tulog ng tulog. In some cases, may sumasabay na parang ubot sipon. Meron nga akong isa eh, may sore throat, as in may nana talaga nung una ko siyang makita. But later on, as nag-progress yung sakit, it eventually meron din siyang kasamang dengue aside from the sore throat. Yung iba naman, nag na, lumabas na yung rashes na parang akala nila sa una, eh, pantal-pantal kasi namumula lang. So, akala nila allergy lang, but then may kasamang lagnat. Ang lagnat ng dengue dati, ang akala natin, eh meron lang siyang spiking trend. Pero ngayon napapansin natin, hindi lang spiking trend, meron ding na dengue na makita mo on and off na wala pangatlong araw, pang-apat araw, bumalik ulit ang lagnat, mas mataas na. So, minsan yung trend ng fever, hindi ganun ka predictable, minsan on and off lang siya. At minsan, may mga babies ako, babies ha, the youngest that I have treated with dengue is 6 months. It was devastating for the mother and me kasi pangatlong araw, we really have to rush him in the hospital and put him on side the ICU dahil nga everything is going down. The platelet going down, baby's not feeding. But the first three days was just fever and rashes that we thought akala namin ay simply viral infection lang. But on the third day, since hindi nga nalalag, nawawala ng lagnat, at nagsusuka na si baby, hindi na siya dumedede, tulog na lang ng tulog. So we decided to have the child tested. Yes, on the third day of fever, I suggest if the baby is not eating or vomiting, or even on the second day of fever, if the baby is not eating, nagsusuka, nagtatae, you think may risk ng dehydration, by all means, have a checkup and have the blood tested. Kasi nga, si dengue is parang trangkaso, parang viral na tigdas hangin, parang ganito, parang ganyan. It's small things of everything. And ang isang determining factor talaga is really the blood test that would tell us that we are gearing towards dengue, that this is dengue we are treating. So, importante po, second to third day, baby is unwell, not improving, you have to go to the doctor and have your kids tested. Usually, ang first three days, mapapansin nyo po, ang ginagawang test namin ay CBC with platelet count and a dengue NS1. So, ito po ay screening test. Minsan, nagne-negative pa rin po ang mga test na to. But then again, if the doctor feels that way at meron siya nakikita ng sintomas like flushing of the skin, sumasakit ang tiyan, or meron ng tinatawag na petechial marks, ito po yung parang ano eh, rashes na po parang na parang merong uh, pasa sa loob. Ganun po yung itsura. That's not uh, a simple viral infection. And in that in those cases, kailangan na pong i-work up ng mabuti ang baby. Pero ang talagang magiging uh, isang importanteng makita ng mommy if the baby is unwell. Isa pong sintomas yun. Huwag na po nating hintayin tumulo ang dugo sa ilong, tumulo ang dugo sa teng, at lumaki ang tiyan ng bata bago po dalin sa doktor. Importante po, isa sa mga key uh, uh, solution na nakita ko sa mga bata na magandang outcome after the dengue is if we treat them early. 
as early as the third day if nagko-cold clammy skin na sila hindi na sila kumakain suka na suka mataas ang lagnat those are signs of dehydration and probably sinasabi sa atin na yung volume ng ng fluid sa katawan nila is really going down hawakan niyo mga kamay at paa ng mga babies and ng ng mga anak niyo if this is warm enough to touch and baby is okay drinking well eating well and then meron siyang urine output every 4 to 6 hours well and good have a check up lang have have them tested pero kung makikita niyo ang baby is for the next 2 to 3 days hindi na dumidede suka ng suka hindi na gumigising tulog na lang ng tulog by all means rush them to the nearest emergency room I have experience, my personal experience is when I have this baby, 5 years old, na dinala sa akin, already on the 8th day, already on the 8th day of illness, and when I hold her, almost no pulses. So, we really have to rush and do everything, but unfortunately, uh, the baby expire of dengue. So, it, it was too late. We have the blood ready but we can no longer transfuse because hindi na po umabot. It was a sad experience for me and for the parents. Uh, but yes, we can prevent dengue by treating it early. And unfortunately, kasi may mga klase ng dengue na mapapansin nyo, para lang silang natarangkaso. These are mild forms of dengue. Meron naman pong dengue, we called hemorrhagic. Ito po yung nagdudugo ilong, medyo naman laki ang chan, or meron talagang bleeding sa pupu. Pag nagbleed po sa pupu ang mga bata na may dengue, usually it's colored black. It's not blood, but it's colored black. So it's also a warning sign that this is a bad dengue. But please don't wait for the infection na lumala. 2 to 3 days, if uh, may mga tao sa paligid o sa barangay nyo na nagkakaroon ng dengue and your child is having on and off fever, by all means, have them check. Kasi po, ang dengue mosquito or what we call low-flying mosquito. So, ibig sabihin, andun na siya sa lugar na yon ikot-ikot. So, karaniwan, yung nabibiktima nung, nung lamok is around the area. Kung minsan, yung isang street, sunod-sunod sila, nagkakaroon ng dengue, or isang bahay, sunod-sunod yung magkakapatid, I have cases like that, apat na magkakapatid, rather limang magkakapatid, apat na dengue. Two at a time. So, you know, it's important you prevent dengue and you treat them early. Yun po ang take home natin for today's video. I hope I have helped and I hope to encourage everyone uh, kill all the breeding places for dengue mosquito and prevent dengue as well. Thank you for watching this episode and if you'd like to learn more about your child's health and parenting, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. See our latest videos. And if you have any questions or topics that you would like us to talk about, just comment down below. And remember, mothers knows best. But Pedza knows better. <laughs> See you! See you!